Hi guys and welcome to a new Let's Play. We're going to be playing Gran Turismo 1. I loved this game in the 90s when it originally came out, so this time let's try and complete everything. We'll get all goal licenses. That's the goal anyway. So let's make a start with the B licenses. The first one, it's pretty easy really. It's a basic start and stop. You do a thousand meters, you've got to stop in the little box and do it as quick as you can. Whoa, that one was a bit touch and go, I didn't think I was going to do that, and I got a gold. That's a really good start. <laughs> So the second test, it's more of the same really, just this time it's a more powerful car, so it's a little bit trickier. Oh, nice run of roll here. I got a silver that time. Hopefully, we'll come back to that one. We'll get a goal later on. Well, the two easy tests, they're out of the way now. So let's start getting on with the more difficult things. This one's just cornering. It's only one corner. It's kind of a 180. It's not too bad. You've just got to watch the speed you're going into it, really, and come out of it as quick as you can. Ah man, only got a bronze this time. Never mind. We'll come back to it. Hopefully I'll get it right next time. Right, here we go, number four. It's basically number three again, but with a more powerful car. Hopefully this time I'll get it right. I'm not bad at silver, I can live with that. Hopefully next time we'll get a gold. And here we are number five. It's game, it's a rinse and repeat. Same corner again. This time it's a Mitsubishi GTO. Really nice car. My friend's got one of these. It's a more powerful car, so you've just got to be careful of the old braking. And I think I just managed to pass that one. Yeah, I was all over the place. Luckily, the car came good for us in the end. So here we go, number six. We're rattling along these quite quickly, actually. I am doing a little bit better than I thought I would. This one, it's S-Bend corners. Just be careful of the old speed going through the corners. Get in there, managed to pass that one. Yeah, I was I was quite smooth there, I just wasn't as quick as I like to be. But you know what? We just want to get the license here. That's the what we're focusing on right now. And here we go again. It's another rinse and repeat of the previous one. Again, more powerful car. So just gotta be careful of the old speed and watch the braking. 
Hopefully this time I'll be a bit more smoother and actually quicker as well would be good. Yay, another pass. It's only a bronze, unfortunately. I just couldn't seem to get the back end to stick to the ground. Hopefully, we'll get it sorted next time. And here we are, final test. It's a full lap of the track. Some of the bits we've been already doing in the licenses, it's on this track here, so hopefully you remember some of the corners. It's a pretty easy track, really. Yeah, just gotta keep it flat out here if I can. Ooh, took a little bit too much speed into that. I should have just took that off a smidge. This one, yeah, I've got to break a little bit more. Hopefully I can get around this nice and smooth. Come up the other end a lot quicker. Oh, I was well happy with that. Kept the speed nice and quick, and it was lovely and smooth. I wish I could get this thing level. It's so hard with these old controllers. I'm used to using a steering wheel now so you can get the car level when you want. And last corner, it's pretty good this one. Take as much speed as you want, just watch the exit. Don't slam into the side of the holdings there. Ah, just power, come on, come on, come on, get in the line. We passed. We have! Get in there! And there we've got our B license. Nice one. So now the fun begins. This is personal choice. What cars you want to buy? Me? I'm a stickler for the old ones. I'm going to go Toyota Supra. The old one, of course. We can't afford the RZ right now. Let's get in the old used cards because we can't afford a new one right now. We want a Toyota Supra. Should we get that one? Limited, limited, yeah, limited edition. That's what we want. Oh, look at that thing banging. 236 horsepower, rear wheel drive. It does weigh quite a bit, 1550 kilograms. But it's all ours. Yeah, I always go down the Supra route. I just find this so tunable. You can get tons of horsepower out of them things so let's go racing and um, we'll go to the gt league sunday's cup i think i'll do the qualifying just for now just so i get used to the tracks again it is a long time since i've played some of these Plus, doing the qualifying, you get to see roughly where you're at in the standings. If your car's up there with the horsepower and it's quick enough. If not, then you cry and think, oh god, you can bother racing. I'm not worried too much. We should be pretty competitive in this thing. Some of the later races, yeah, we're going to have to do some serious upgrades or get a better car. Hint, hint, Super RZ, here we come. <laughs> We're going to have to do a few of these races without having enough money to buy that. Oh god, we're going to need tyres and suspension on this thing. It's handling is terrible. <laughs> right, over the line. That wasn't too bad. I, the track, it's kind of coming back to us. We're pretty much on banging the money there. We're only 1.7 off the leader. I'm happy with that. It could have been a lot worse. On the later Grand Trismus, you got penalties for everything. Just basically looking somebody in a wrong way, you got a penalty for it. Luckily, in this version, just knock everybody out of the way. <laughs> Go as fast as you can. Good group of second already. Yeah, I'm starting to get in the groove of this. Give him a little tap. Go on, power, power, power. Oh, 
it break in there? Come on, hold it, hold it. Ooh, that was lucky we just held that. Right, we need to get this guy in the straight, I think. Right, come on, last lap of the game. Give him a tap. Go on, go on. Right, power down the hill. Come on, power down the hill. Oh, like a boss on the inside. Oh, no, no, no. Thought I'd overcooked it there. Right, just got to get clean at the end of the race here and we should win our first race. Yeah, I've got no grip and it weighs too much. <laughs> Apart from that, it's a fabulous car. Victory! Get in there. Nice win. Ooh, that guy was right on our tail, wasn't he? See, so yeah, I told you, 1.7 seconds. We were really competitive there. Nine points. We've got three races to do. Hopefully, we can win them all, get loads of dollars, and then we can buy ourselves a bang a new car. Ah, 3,000 credits. Is that all we got? Ugh, this could be a long day. Okay, here we go, qualifying again. This track, we've done it before, it's the one from the licenses. So hopefully, we should know this one a little bit better by now. Back end stuck quite nicely there. Right, got to be a bit more careful in this one. The corner's a little bit tighter. A little bit of braking. Go on, spin around. Yes. Oh, lined up really well. Is this me driving? Yeah, it's definitely me driving. We've turned it into farming simulator now. Right, let's get back on this. Come on, last corner, hold this well. Just the 180. Little bit of braking. And floor it. Is it flooring? I can't tell. Oh, that would have been a half decent lap if it didn't turn into farming simulator halfway around. Let's have a look how we did. 28 yeah, we should be pretty competitive again. Here we go, guys. Race two for big money. 3,000 credits. <laughs> I don't even think that'll buy us a turbo. We should take everybody on the straight here. I mean, we should, we've got a three-liter engine. It may have some horses left. I'm not sure. Get in there. First place already. Yeah, that first corner, that car really likes that one. <laughs> as heavy as it is, we're going on there pretty well. This one, tap on the brakes. Go on, get around it. And floor it. Whatever floor it means, you know that, guys. This is where we normally get tricky. Let's start plowing the field. Or oh, not this time. Hold it, hold it. Nice one. Right, just the 180 to go, and they're right on our butts here. I can hear the engine when we go around the corner. Oh, I nailed that one like a boss. Right, we should eat this straight alive with a three liter super duper turbo engine. 116, not bad. Not bad in the sense of the car's a heap of junk and it weighs a ton. Yeah, I made a total balls up on that one, didn't I? Hopefully we'll get this one better. We've got a slight gap. Come on, hold it. 
yes. But yeah, you can just hear the engine ring in there. Oh, they're right on our tail still. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go to the outside. Don't go. Oh, that was close. Oh, crap. He's right there. Wow, this guy is really on our tail. No pressure here, guys, but we can't mug this up. We'll take them on the straight, so as long as we get around this corner in one piece, we should be good. And it's a victory! <laughs> get in there, 3,000 credits. Yes, rubbing our hands. What can we buy? Not a lot, actually. So we're six points ahead in the championship, basically, as long as we get third in the last race, we should win it. Oh, we nearly sit on 10 grand. I think the Toyota Super RZ, it's about 41, 43,000. That's what I'm gunning for. Yeah, I know this track, I've played it many times and I'm not looking forward to this first corner. You just come in at this sort of a sort of a left hand turn and then you come to this really tight right hand corner and normally the back end just disappears and spin rounds. You've got to be really careful on the old break on here. Yeah, I can live with that, we've got round in one piece, that's all I can ask for. Until we get some nice tyres and suspension, a bit of downforce. The back end is just going to fly around. Got to be careful of the old speed on this one. A little bit of a dip then, so tight right hand corner here. The reverse of this track, this corner here is really hard when you come out of the tunnel, you've got to slam the brakes on. Luckily, going around this way, it's not so bad. And final corner, just need to hold the back end and power it on. Go on! Floor it! Please floor it. Any kind of floor on it? Oh, 3.9 slightly off the pace on that one. It probably was most of the first corner because I really did muck that one up. A couple of the ones that could have been quicker, but yeah, we're not too far off the pace. We should be okay. It's got a massive straight. That's where the advantage of this car is. Here we go, final race of the season. I want them 3,000 credits. <laughs> Right, everybody's out of the way, so let's floor it and get to this first corner. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this corner. I really hate it. I know it's coming. Come on, you can do this break without losing the back end. No. Oh, that could have been a lot better. It could have been a lot worse as well. Are we still in the lead? Ooh, pretty close. Bit of destruction derby and we're back in the lead. Oh, bit of drifting there and again. Right. Come on, give me this corner. Right, which pressure should be off now. Till we get to that corner right at the end of the street again. I'm already starting to get worried about it. Oh man. Why do I hate that corner so much? I just can't do it. Oh crap, I'm losing it all over the place now. You are one with the Japanese sports car. You can break with the Japanese sports car. 
The back end doesn't have to come round like the Japanese sports car. Right, can we do it this time, please? Come on, brake slowly, brake slowly. Oh my god, I can live with that. <laughs> we got round in one piece and we're leading. We should win this now. Oh my god, concentrate you fool, don't lose this now. God, that guy's not keeping up with us. The gap's not massive, is it? Yeah, just haven't got to muck this last corner up. Oh, should be good. Famous last words. I nailed it. Did you ever doubt us? Come on, guys. Seriously, did you ever doubt us? Yeah, I know you did. I doubted myself. Yeah, it's a damn first corner every time. Never mind, we've done it now. So we get the $3,000, we get the trophy. Oh, we actually get a car. I don't know what car it is. Do we get the girl? No, we don't, because we're sitting at home playing on our computers. That's why we don't get the girl. 27 points, yeah, we win every single race. Oh, 15,000 credits, not bad. 27 run now. Nice trophy. Oh, that looked good on me mantelpiece. And we get a new car in the garage. Let's have a look what it is. Is it going to be a Porsche Ferrari, maybe? Probably not. Oh, wow, a Demio A spec. Yes, 94 horsepower of goodness. We'll actually use that in one of the championships probably because it's classed as a lightweight car. Even though it's an absolute heap of junk. Right, what's the plan? I think what I'll do is I'll race that GT League once again, get enough money, then we'll have enough cash to buy the Super RZ. Sounds like a plan, guys. Oh, the second time around, yeah, I totally mucked it up on the first race. I went around the corner and I had to fight all the way. I managed to get second place. So in the end, it didn't matter. We did win the championship. So I got the car, the money, obviously not the girl, because we live in at home playing on the computers. So let's go to the garage. We'll equip the Demi. We should have two of them now. Yes, we do. And then we'll take it and go and sell it. That'll give us a few extra credits. And then we'll go and buy our super. I'm not actually sure who makes this. The best thing to do is you take it to the manufacturer who actually owns the car and you get a few extra credits for it. I'm not sure which one it is. Yeah, it's not Mitsubishi. It's only 10,000 credits, but who cares? We'll just sell it to them for now. I really want to buy the Super. Right, off to Toyota we go. Cash in hand. 61,000 credits. It's not an awful lot. Castrol Supra GT. I so want one of them. <laughs> yes, this is the part shop. Obviously, if anybody's played this game before, you know exactly what you do. You buy a car, you upgrade it. 43,900. That's the one we want. Ooh, what colour should we pick? Black, red. Ooh, definitely not green. Ooh, that blue is quite nice. Or oh, white. Mm, yeah, let's go white. Oh, you want it, guys. Right, what upgrades can we do?
yeah, first off, we need brakes and tyres before anything else. So, super soft, 7,000. Ouch. Oh, actually, no, we need racing tyres. 15,000? That'll wipe us out. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to have to bite the bullet on this one. Stop the old back end flying around. Right, what's the suspension going to cost us? 20,000. Holy moly. Stabilizer, 700 for the front and probably 700 for the rears as well, isn't it? Yeah, let's get them. It'll stiffen up the car a little bit. Doubtly able to afford anything else. Chip, 2000 for a chip. Display something. Yeah, yeah, I forgot you can't increase it on that one. Port grinding, 6,000 for 10 horsepower. It's not an awful lot, is it? Engine balancing, 16,000. Yeah, you can see how expensive this actually gets. Better exhaust, 38 horsepower is 5,000. Oh, it's all money, money, money now. Three and a half for an intercooler. What about the turbo? Stage four, 714 horsepower. Ouch. 72 grand. That's not bad, actually. What about racing modifications? What can we do? Oh, that's quite subtle. I do like that. What's the other colours? Oh, blue. Blue or grey? Still a little choice. 85,000. Weight reduction. We're definitely going to need that. These things are way too heavy. Right guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. We're going to need to do some races, get some more credits before we can do any more upgrades. So please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time for some more Gran Turismo. Bye for now guys.